Roses are red, violets are blue, a smooth camera zoom is waiting for you. I set up a small demo scene, but we are only going to focus on the camera. First, let's make sure the camera's projection is set to orthographic. As you can see, the size property makes the camera appear closer or farther away, and our goal is to change this value smoothly using the scroll wheel. So, let's add a script to the camera and open it up. First of all, we need to declare some private variables. A float for the zoom level, a float for the zoom multiplier, a float for the minimum zoom level, a float for the maximum zoom level, a float for the velocity, and a float for the approximate time it will take the camera to smoothly transition between zoom levels. Last but not least, we need a serialized field to reference the camera. We don't want the zoom value to be zero when starting the game, so we set its initial value in the start method to the orthographic size of the camera. In the update method, we need to declare another variable called scroll and store the return value of input.getAxis mouse scroll wheel in it. This returns a value of minus 0.1 when scrolling down, plus 0.1 when scrolling up, and 0 when not scrolling at all. Next, we multiply the scroll value by the zoom multiplier and subtract the result from the zoom value. The zoom multiplier is necessary so that we don't get tendonitis from scrolling. Just like children, camera zooms need limits, so we clamp the zoom value between the min zoom and max zoom values. And finally, to smoothly zoom in and out, we need to gradually change the camera's orthographic size over time, using a mathematical function called smoothDamp. The first parameter is the current value, the second parameter is the target value, the third parameter is a reference to the velocity, and the fourth parameter is the smooth time value. Let's save our script and go back to Unity. Back in Unity, we need to reference the camera component in our script. If we hit play now, we should be able to zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. Nice! By the way, if you'd rather have a perspective camera, replace orthographic size with field of view in the script and adjust the values at the top. If you found this tutorial helpful and you would like to see more videos in the future, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.